Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I think this is what I'm going to show today is it's probably my my most favorite new visualization idea inside of Power BI. Um, I saw it um, de like demonstrated really well in a recent challenge submission. I actually created a video about it. Uh, and I just wanted to build it up from scratch because I think I, I sort of just highlighted how good it, how good an idea it was in a previous video and I just want to show you how far you can actually take this and it is not that difficult at all but can add so much value to your report like keep your consumers engaged um, in very you know really different ways and it again enables you to compact uh, more information into a singular report page you just don't need to build these like comprehensive reports with 10 different pages you just need to think creatively uh, and i'm going to show you how you can you know, do do that with these with this great tooltip idea okay so what you um can do so so currently when you say select something like this right actually uh i, I was playing around with it just before i just need to do something here Uh, I changed the colors here, so I'll change it back. So this is what a, a tooltip has looked historically, right? But what if you could just customize this tooltip and create like a visual tooltip? Wouldn't wouldn't that be awesome, right? Um, and so what and you can do just that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page here. I'm going to come across to the paint roller. I'm going to go to pa uh, page size, and then I'm going to select tooltip. Okay. So this gives you this unique page that is optimized for tooltips, right? Within here, I'm going to grab a table. Uh, I'm gonna put a table in here. And then I'm gonna put some information in it, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to hover over a customer, right? We wanna hover over a customer and then I wanna, I wanna almost replicate a table like this with a bit of information, right? Now you have to think strategically about how your model is set up for this to work. Okay, so what we want to do is we, we basically want to show like when an order is happening for a customer, right? Um, so I'm going to go and grab my sales and I'm going to grow it, grab the order date here. Okay, actually, I think I can do date. Date is fine because of the measures that I'm going to put in here. So I'm going to grab date in here and I'm just going to get rid of that hierarchy. Okay, can be a little bit off when I'm adjusting around, but no, nothing, nothing too serious. Then I'm going to bring in my revenue. I'm going to bring in my orders, right? And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller because you see here that the the size is quite big. So we'll just make it a touch smaller. Okay, so I've got a table up here. Then what I'm going to do down the bottom here, I'm going to create, I'm going to create a simple pie chart, I think. So let's try that. See, it's, it's kind of weird how it sort of plays up a little bit, but so we'll just create a simple pie chart here. Okay, and then I'm going to grab some information from my sales table here because I want to see the channel in which uh, a lot of these sort of sales are happening. And so I'll bring in my revenue in here. Then I'm going to really simplify this table, this chart down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to change the data labels a little bit. I'm going to go category and percentage total. Okay. So you can't fit a lot in here, but that's okay. Don't get um, you know, don't get too hung up about that. So I've created this table. Uh, let's just double check what we've got in the actual formulas. Yep. Okay. So we've got total revenue, so that's fine. Okay. So now this is. Uh, I'm just going to rename this. I'm going to go details. I mean, you can rename whatever you like. Um, now, because this is a tooltip as well, I'm going to just hide it because we don't actually, we won't need this in the application itself, right? When we actually po uh, push this to the online service, then what I can do is I can come across to say a visual here and I'm going to um, select this visual uh, for the demonstration. I'm going to select it. Then I can come to the paint roller here and down in tooltip, what we can do now is we can actually see it has an auto, but what I want to do is I actually want to um, 
hold on a second, should, should have come up there, let's have a look. So report page, and then we want, well, maybe if we select that, see if that works. I'll go on and then I'll go off. <laughs> okay, let's just double check what we've got here. Mm. Okay. Okay, so let's double check that this is right. So we've got this on tooltip. Hold on, I was just doing this before and didn't have troubles like this, so let's just double check what we're doing here. So we'll go to tooltip, port page. Ah, sorry, I think I know what I did wrong. Um, Well, it should be coming up there, so something is not right. Uh, maybe I've done something. Maybe it's something to do with this page here. Let's just double check page information. Ah, sorry, page information tooltip. So we need to turn this on. So little, little trick there. Um, just need to make sure that that's turned on, easy fixed, right? And then we can hide this again uh, and then come back here and then now this should work right so now we can come to the tooltip report page and then details right and then now when we hover over here we have this dynamic I just I just love I just love this idea this visualization it's 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 so cool now I want to show you something even cooler that I I, I, I think is w worth um, checking out as well um, let's try and make this a little bit smaller so you can you can do a lot of um, other interesting things in here right with colors so you don't need it doesn't need to be white so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a darker background here and then just have a quick play around with these visualizations, right? So I'm just going to turn the backgrounds off, um, turn the, and then turn everything to white. So I, I, I always feel like sort of darker backgrounds really stick out really nicely in Power BI. So let's go none here. And so just a little bit of playing around, but I think it, it does make the visualization sort of pop that a little bit more. Uh, and then we can go to column headers, font color, and we can say make that black. Okay, so now when you do it like this, and you come back over to your tooltip, it actually comes out in that full full color as well, right? It's just amazing. This is such a cool. I mean, does any tool do this? As as you know, does any analytical tool do this? I, I mean, I don't even think so. I think this is just so epic just as a consumer being able to see all this information just so quickly and easily and i mean imagine having a few of these i mean there's just so much that you can do so there's so much variability in your report development now uh, inside inside of power bi it is it is just astounding compared to what it was even just a few years ago they have just done some amazing work and this is this is another great feature another great visualization feature okay that's all i wanted to show i just wanted to go a bit more uh, in a bit more depth about how to make that work it's it's really not that hard right we've gone through it you know if you know what you're doing it should take you less than i don't know less than five minutes to be able to implement this so really good tip um highly recommend trying to trying to use this in your own reports okay if you like this one throw the video a like appreciate it uh, and don't forget to subscribe to enterprise dna tv okay all the best